Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Art by Julie E. I, me, myself, am Julie E. And um, this is part of the Nate Bright Art Art Lab Patreon group. And we have a lot of fun. And today, this month, because it's October, we are doing Halloween stuff. Orange, pumpkin-y stuff. So... I have a cute little pumpkin. Look at that little cutie patootie. Is that just so cute? I think it's adorable. <laughs> well, the colors we're gonna pour on top of him are Arteza Pearl Copper Gold. Isn't that color just gorgeous? Yum. Then we have Deco Art Americana Metallics in Bright Metallic Pearl. Gorgeous. Look at this one. This one's Windsor Newton Vermilion Red. Vermilion Hue. I'm sorry. Tongue tied this morning. And it is just a gorgeous red orangey look. Then we're going to go a little lighter with Arteza Pearl Tangerine Orange. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. Then we have Cadmium Orange Hue. By Windsor Newton, your more traditional orange. Then we have this gorgeous shade. Mm, hello, pumpkin spice, right? Mm, yum, yum, yum. That is Parage Posse Paint, Tiger Lily Metallic. You can get that from Christina Welch on Etsy. It's yummy, yummy, warm, rustic. I love it. And then this weird color. This weird color is a combination of, where is it? Green Gold by Golden Fluid Acrylic and Sup. Stuck Up Piggy in Boastful. So I combined the two, got this really cool metallic-y, sparkly, shimmery color that I'm loving. And we're gonna put that on last on his stem so that it'll bling it out a little bit more. Um, for that one, that one is mixed different than these. These are all mixed with an Elmer School Glue pouring medium. 70-30, shaken to the point of insanity, and then mixed one part paint, two parts pouring medium. But this one, the sup, first I put a little bit in that cup, then I wet it with Liquitex varnish, gloss varnish. Once I get a nice little slurry going in the bottom of the cup, then I put in a gloss gel medium. You can put one of your choice in. This is the one I used for this one. And I thickened it all up with that and made it like a tube paint. Then I mixed it in with this and then just added a few drops of the green gold until I got it to the shade I like. And that is the shade I like. It's very pretty. And you can tell that the sup will shine through because this is a very transparent paint. You can see that right here. So because it's transparent, those piggies, that piggy should still shine through no problem. So. All right, those are our colors. There is our pumpkin. Let me go ahead and get these all thinned down to the right consistency, and we'll start pouring. And we're back on the table, and I'm doing a voiceover from here on out because I have a tendency to either forget to talk or ramble on. Um, the only prep I really did for this little guy is peeled that tag off right there. That's it. I didn't wipe him down with alcohol or nail polish remover or anything like that. I just left him good to go. And um, yeah, so, and I've got him up on top of uh, a cottage cheese container. I needed something with a really wide base underneath him because he had a really messed up kind of 
flow. It wasn't a circular indentation. It had like a little notch in it, one of the areas. And so nothing I set it on really was sturdy and it, everything was tippy, but I didn't want something that wouldn't allow the paint to get underneath the main part of him, if that makes any sense. So, <laughs> so that's why we've got it up on top of that ice cream or not ice cream cottage cheese container. And now I'm just pouring a kind of like a primer coat of the um, Parage Posse Tiger Lily over the top of him, kind of getting him all, you know, painted up and everything, just so that if there's any bald spots from the cup pouring over it. Um, he'll still have some color there in case I miss something because this <laughs> this did not pour the way I thought it would it really went down in all of the mm, hold on I got to take care of my cat yes Taz okay so that was Taz I guess he just wanted to say hello I don't know <laughs> But here we go, and I layered a cup with all my different colors except for that green, with the green I'm saving for the stem. And um, yeah, I'm pouring it around. And like I said, it poured differently. It went down through all the little crevices, and none of it really stayed. Um, I don't know. Is it, what is that called? On the main section, they kind of, it just kind of <laughs> poured down the seams. And um, so yeah, it, it took a little ingenuity and stuff and um to try and get what I was hoping for and you'll see here in a little bit what I do is I end up taking a playing card and scooping up the paint from the table and kind of almost I guess you could say almost like a dustpan pour kind of holding it up to certain areas and pouring it off of the playing card to where I liked and it was nice because the paint that ended up on the table really wasn't too muddy and looked really good in the end so um yeah that part should be coming up here soon but yeah you can see all the paint that ended up here <laughs> when I was all done and uh, my husband came in to take a look <laughs> Sparky goes oh my god you spilled his guts all over your table <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a mess the 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 table is a mess it was funny um yeah it looked like a pumpkin massacre here by the end <laughs> but the pumpkin is really pretty i really love how the end results came out and yeah here i go yeah i'm going in with that playing card and kind of doing that scoop and pour with it and yeah it, it came out really good I think but you let me know down in the comments what you think um, I'm gonna take this time to thank Nate bright art for putting together a wonderful patreon group that I love being a part of everybody in it is so wonderful and so helpful and just inspiring you should see some of the art that everybody in here creates because not all of them have channels and They'll post pictures in the chat, and oh my God, some of their work is just so absolutely amazing. You just, you can't understand why they don't have a channel, but it's just, it's a fun, fun group. And if you haven't joined yet, I suggest you do, because I just love it. Um, let's see, I'm not sure who came before me or who's coming after me but there will be a playlist down in my description so if you just click on the title of the video or the little um, down arrow it should take you right to the description and you'll get all the links to everybody's work in there and um, while i got you here please remember to do the ubtube things the likey subscribees and sharings so because it helps us it helps keep our channels going it keeps keeps them from popping up so that they can get more views and yeah so sometimes it doesn't take a donation to our channel to help us out sometimes it just takes a share a like or a comment and we appreciate it so much so please be sure to do that on everyone's channel today that you're watching and um yeah we'll get back to this pour 
and I will put on some music and see you for dry results. Look at all that shimmer. I am so thrilled with how this piece came out. This is the first time I've ever done something like this, like a big ceramic type pumpkin. I've um, done smaller little objects that I've poured over and stuff, but never anything this big. So I'm really thrilled and oh, it just shimmers. And I did something new. I did an engine clear coat um, spray enamel, ceramic enamel on top of this and it's a no-bake ceramic enamel which is wonderful because who wants to put their paintings in an oven at 500 degrees right so there it is it's the duply color engine enamel gloss clear with ceramics and i think it came out wonderful well, i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you next time here on art by julie e please stick around for mufasa Are you ready for Halloween? Huh? Are you ready for Halloween? <laughs> Where's your tie? I can't see your tie. Hold on. Hold on. Hey. Huh? How cute are you? How cute are you? How cute are you? Uh -uh. <laughs> He's a very hairy potter. <laughs> Eric, stop. Ah, you're very cute. Very cute. Can you say trick or treat? No? Okay, there you go. <laughs> so just give me my rawhide, woman. Have a safe and happy Halloween from all of us to all of you. Loves and hugs. Bye.